Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We still have a few people uh, signing in right now, but um, it is a, one minute after two o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, my name is John Randall, Regional Director for Golden Care USA. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of their day. Um, we're going to go over the mutual software today, um, talk about the product and the software so you'll learn about both. Um, it's a really, really intuitive software. It doesn't let you make any mistakes. I think you'll really like what it can do. If you're not used to it, hopefully it's a good brush up to you. And if you are used to it, hopefully I can show you a trick or two that maybe you haven't seen before. Um, but I want to thank everybody again taking time out of their day. If you haven't been to our website, goldencareagent.com, make sure you check it out. And make sure you see all the wonderful tools we have that we offer our agents at no cost to them. I'm a huge fan of the Care Options Lead and Referral Tool. If you're in the Medicare business, we have the CSG Actuarial and Medicare Center. Uh, Medicare Center will record all your calls for you. You can run your apps right through either CSG or Medicare Center. Um, for you long-term care people, we do have the uh, Stratacision that we offer to our agents at no cost. And also, give us a call here at 800-842-7799 if you have any questions. Um, after today's presentation, we do have some drawings. Um, we have a beautiful uh, Mutual of Omaha gift basket will be the grand prize. Um, I will have Lynn Voss, her uh, marketing, um, head of the marketing department here, come and uh, introduce that for us. But let's go ahead and get started. Again, I love this software. In fact, it's so nice that Mutual of Omaha uses it as their own software now, even though it was uh, put together by our, our sister company, AIM. And it's a really nice software. As you see me go through this today, you'll notice everything I do, it switches the price. Everything switches right in front of you. You don't have to go to different screens. Now, we do have some behind the, behind the scenes screens if you want to use them. But in general, you can stay right on the front screen and do almost everything you need. If you start out on the left-hand side, You'll see you can put the names in, the agent name, and each time you switch a quote, quote under this person, and I'll show you how to do this, you can copy current. So when you go back into John and Jane Doe with John Randall as the agent, all the quotes you ran for them will be saved. Um, so you can easily go back and look at them. We're going to start out at the top. If you notice, most everything's a drop down. Um, so I'm going to just use Maryland today. There is two different products, custom and secure. We do about 90% of our business on custom. It has a lot more options. If you look at all the things on the screen there and then go to secure, you can see a lot of it disappears. You have a lot less options. You have less partner benefits, less elimination, a lot less in the inflation at the end of it. So if you really want to customize your uh, to get exactly what your client's looking for, stick with the custom. We have partners both insured, partners one insured, or single. Make sure if it's a single person or a partner one insured, you're doing the right with the male and the female. I'm gonna drop the female down. Again, everything's a drop box, down to 55. But if you look at here down in the price, look at they're still more expensive. This was probably the last thing that needed to be done with all the uh, policies, if you know the legendary box business from uh, um, John Hancock, Jen Worth had a ton of rate increases. Well, they had a lot of faults in the beginning. One thing, everything was priced too low, especially inflation. Um, and then they didn't realize what the drop rate would be. Um, 99, we have 98 to 99% people keep this policy forever. Um, 
so the drop rate, the lapse rate was just way up. And then lastly, but leastly, and they should have known right away because it's been the eye test forever, there's always more women in the nursing home than there is men. And women just use it more. So they finally made it um, gender priced meaning the females are more expensive. So when you're selling this product today, I feel super confident that you're selling a product that will have little to no, no rate increases in the future. Um, just because I think they've really settled everything. They got rid of lifetime. They do the gender rating. 5% um, inflation, if you watch here, is priced almost out of the market. You know, it makes it just very unaffordable for everybody. So you see a lot less of that 5%. So I'm gonna use a 60 and a 55 year old. If you have your birth dates and you put the birth date in, it will save age automatically up to 30 days. So if your birthday is November 16th, you have until December 15th to actually write the app and get it signed to keep them at their age, at their current age. We have four rate classes. Preferred runs at about 15% of them. I would say I don't have the exact numbers, but select is what most all of our policies go at. We do have some class ones and very little class twos. If you go up here on top, you can see here's our product guide and here's our underwriting guide. So if you ever want to check out what is preferred underwriting, there's a page in there that says here's what you have to have to be a preferred underwriting. If you're not sure about what a, you know, what is professional home care, pop up into the product guide and that'll tell you right offhand. Of course, you can always call them. Um, Golden Care here and get the answer to. So I'm just doing a run of the mill quote here. Six. I'm going to do a three thousand. If you want the exact amount you need to get this to an exact year, like a two year or three year, that's one place where Secure comes in handy. A three year plan is a hundred and eight thousand. You can go back to the custom. And just click on it and hit 108000. And that will automatically give you an exact three year plan if that's what you're looking for. And you can do that for two, th two year, three year, four year, five year, um, if, if you're worried about having an exact plan. So I'm just showing you this as an example here. Look at all the different inflation periods you have. If it's a married couple, I really like putting the home health care waiver on it. It does add some to the price. You can see it goes from $34.88 to $4,000 a year, so about $500 more a year. But down the line, it could save them 90 days of care that could be very expensive. What the home health care waiver does is it says first day you go on waiver premium you don't have to pay your premium anymore but you can also get coverage day one from home right off the bat you can start collecting in the three thousand dollars the inflation i'm going with a lifetime three percent here with an automatic buy-up what does automatic buy-up mean it means you know what any time in the first 20 years or until the age of 75, whichever comes first, you can buy up inflation without showing insurability. So even if somebody is actually, you know, maybe starting to lose their, um, you know, ability to process and think, you know, cognitive impairment, they could raise their inflation as long as they are not on claim yet. Where we really put this in there was you might go to 255-year-old's house 
And they say, boy, I love the plan you drew up, but we just can't afford it yet. We have two kids in college and we have our mortgage. It's going to take us about five more years to pay off. So we said, you know what? That doesn't matter. Let's get you into this plan. Let's drop you all the way down to a 1% inflation. That's saving you $1,600 a year. And you know what? You can afford that now. And as time goes on, when you get your mortgage paid, your kids are done with college, you have that extra income, we can start raising that. We can go to two, three, four, five, whatever you want. And again, without showing insurability. So it's a great way to make sure people don't say, I'm just going to wait till I get my house paid off, or I'm going to wait till the kids are out of college. Because if you've been a seasoned agent, y'all know that you can't wait because something happens, your health changes too much, and now you can't even get long-term care. So biggest mistake we have is, is uh, not getting the urgency for people to get this because you can't buy it with your checkbook. You buy it with your health. So it's a great tool. I love that inflation buy-up. Going down to the next row here, we have the assisted living. It's built in at 100%. And when you have this low a monthly benefit, that 100% is probably where it should stay. And I'm in Maryland, and I should probably go to a different state. Let's try Alabama. Because Maryland doesn't have the option to go to 75 or 50% on their assisted living. But if you're selling somebody, a, you know, a nice big $8,000 a month policy, you can easily go down to 50%. Because on average, assisted livings are 50% of what a nursing home is, or even less. But it's a way to save some premium dollars. Now, it doesn't save a ton on these smaller policies, but on the bigger ones, it might make the difference between making that sale and not. The home health care, you can do the same thing. The only time you'd probably ever reduce the home health care is if it is a single person. And that single person said, you know, if something happens to me, I'm not going to be able to take care of myself at home. I'm not going to be able to mow the lawn or shovel the walk. Um, it's just too much of a house for me, especially if I'm not able to, you know, to, to walk and do my activities of daily living. So I probably will be selling it. So you would want to lower the health care, home health care. It's always good to keep some because, you know what, maybe something happens to them where they trigger their policy, but they're probably going to recover from it. So that's when they would use that, um, still want the home health care. With married couples, I would say we always keep it at 100% because that's probably their goal, to stay in their house as long as they can. Next, we have the cash benefit. It's built in at 25% of whatever your monthly benefit is. So if you go up to $8,000, you'll see this jump up to $2,000. So it's a quarter. It's a quarter of your uh, home of your monthly benefit but the max it'll start at is two thousand dollars so if you had a ten thousand here it would still only be two thousand but it will grow with your inflation so uh keep that in mind the cash benefit really means never having to say you're sorry at claim time so you can uh because with the cash, you can spend it any way you want. Um, so make sure you have that cash benefit when you're selling a long-term care policy because, you know what, that's the only way you can hire family and friends. You can hire your granddaughter maybe to come and watch or your neighbor to come over where mom goes and gets groceries. Whatever the case, the cash makes a big difference. And you know what, a lot of people at the beginning of claims – they won't trigger their policy because they're like, well, I don't want any stranger to come in here. I don't need a nurse to come in. I can take care of my husband. 
you know, I just have to make sure he doesn't put a hot pad in the toaster or walk out the front door. But the bottom line is, they would love some extra help, and that's what that cash could do. So cash is king on that part. Shared care, I'm going to go into the partner benefits now. Shared care just says, here you go, mom and dad, you both have a three-year policy. Dad, God forbid, but if you die, mom inherits your whole policy. So now she has a 3000 policy for six years. So that's a very good selling point when you have a um, mom and dad, especially when you're selling to them for you wily veterans, you know, you've been in the home and mom's shaking her head yes and dad's shaking her head no. <coughs> Excuse me. But that is a selling point where dad a lot of times will say, you know what, now I know, I feel better because I know she'll be taken care of if something happens to me. So it does put a little bit of load on there, but it is a great way to give them that extra coverage, if, especially if that's something they need, they feel. Survivorship benefit just says, hey, if you have this policy for 10 years and one of you passes away, the other one has a lifetime waiver of premium. Strictly a choice of the clients if it's something they like, or if one of them is a lot healthier than the other, and you know that there's a good chance down the road there is only going to be one of you left, which means only one breadwinner instead of two, or one retirement fund instead of two, whatever the case. Not a bad idea to throw it on. We have some agents that always put the joint waiver of premium on. Why? Because it hardly adds anything to the premium. Joint waiver of premium, we already know if one of them goes on claim, if you, ha if you have joint waiver of premium, or if one of you goes on claim, they don't pay their premium anymore, they have waiver of premium. But joint waiver of premium means now neither of them pay their premium. So it's pretty cheap to put on. It does your clients a good favor. Of course, you will lose your commissions on joint waiver of premiums. Security benefits, you see if I click it, it'll go yellow. Security only works when it's one insured. And now it doesn't mean 90% of the time where we use it, or maybe more, it's because one of them is uninsurable. You walk into the house and dad's already in a wheelchair. You sell this policy to mom, or in this case, you sell it to dad. It puts on an extra benefit with an extra pool of money. So let's say this policy is built up to $6,000 a month and dad goes on claim. He's collecting his $6,000. they will send an extra check, cash, to him for $3,600 out of a total separate pool of money that they can use for any way they want, actually, but they can use it for mom's care, whether they're both at home, they could put it towards their assisted living, or if they happen to be in a nursing home, they could put it towards that. So the nice part is it does give them extra partnership benefits. So if he was getting 6000 from his base policy and another 3600 from the partnership, he would actually have $9,600 a month going towards his partnership. And I'll explain partnership here in the next thing. The non-forfeiture shortened benefit period, we sell less than 1%. Look at what it puts a big load on. And all it's doing is saying for some reason, if I can't afford this policy later, I can drop it and whatever I paid in in premium, I can get back in benefits. You're basically paying an advance of rate increase because you might not be able to afford it later. When I say we do sell a little bit of it, it's usually when a business buys the long-term care policy and it's a business that they're like, yeah, you know what, we might know it'll be around 10 or 15 years from now. We don't know for sure. We'll put that non-forfeiture on. They're selling big benefits with a 
you know, big premium. If something happens, they go out of business and aren't paying their premiums later, you know what? They still might have a pretty nice little long-term care program. There's a contingent non-forfeiture built right into the policies, so you really don't have to worry about that too much. And 90% of the time with the older policies that have multiple rate increases, if they design that drop the plan, they're giving them that non-forfeiture amount anyway, so the states are kind of forcing it on them. This next one, professional home here, I really like it. Look at it, it doesn't add a lot of money to it, but look what it does to the home care benefit. Instead of $3,000, you have the chance to get in up to $6,000 a month. Now this is a really small policy, but I'll keep it on there so I'll show you one bigger one. But with that zero day home care, no matter what happens to a person, you can probably keep them home, especially if you have a bigger monthly benefit. And I'll, it'll show that in my next examples. But you know what? You can probably keep them at, day, at home for 90 days. And if they do need to go to an assisted living or a nursing home, then they would have day one coverage there because they got rid of the 90-day elimination by eating it up at home. And again, you notice every time I click something, the price changes automatically. So it's no big guessing game on how much anything costs or what it will cost. You don't go to different screens. Just really nice software. We do have three different types of return of premium. Before age 65, it doesn't cost much to put on it, especially at this age. Um, but if you do have younger people, not a bad idea because of its, how inexpensive it is. The three times monthly maximum is kind of unique. It's kind of neat. In this case, you have $3,000. So three times the monthly maximum would be a $9,000 benefit. It's like a little final expense when somebody passes away. Um, so if you had a $5,000 benefit, you know, it'd be a $15,000 benefit to maybe go towards the funeral. And the last one is less claims paid. And you can see that one is quite a bit expensive. Again, we don't sell a lot of return or premium. And I can tell you the truth, it's cheaper to put a life insurance policy on and try to guess you know, how, how like, use, you know, use the mortality board and say, you know, I probably live till he's 81, go on claim, and average age is 87, and his family, whatever the case, and say, so if I have to pay this premium for this many years, and it comes to, you know, 70000 why don't I just sell him a $70,000 life insurance policy? That would pay all of it. It'd be like getting his premiums back when he passed away. So it, it, there is times when you sell it. Again, when businesses are paying, maybe it's not a bad idea. But I will say we sell most of them with none, even though these two are both pretty good choices. You can see there's annual, semi-annual, quarterly, or monthly. So you can set it up any way you want. When you actually do the printout, the preview, the email, or the PDF, it's going to show you all four anyway. So it really doesn't matter which one you choose. They do have three different discounts. The association discount is if you have an association that are dues paying, they elect their president, they elect their officials. And it's not just for the purpose of buying insurance. We can set you up with an association if it's the right amount of people. Um, and then you would be the sole producer unless you wanted somebody else to be able to help you with that who could work those leads and offer that discount. But it's a really good way to get a lot of long-term care sales when you have that affinity. If you're a producer and you write it yourself, you get a 5% for you and your spouse if they both apply. Or if you get an employer group, usually you need five applications from the same employer. It's 
called the common employer. If they get five applications, then they're eligible for a 5% discount. And their spouses are eligible for the 5% discount. And going forward, any employee and their spouses can get a 5% discount. So that's a nice way to pick up five to 10 apps right away, maybe even 15, 20, and have an ongoing lead source, especially if they're a place that's hiring a lot of people. So those are the different discounts. So as I said earlier, now I can go over here and copy this quote. We can say with our new repricing when they gave us the gender, things like that, one other thing they did is they made the three-year plan and the 3% inflation the most expensive. So you know what we said? Let's take care of that. Let's move up to $5,000. Give them 125000 So we have a bigger pool and a bigger monthly pool. But let's drop this down to 2%. Look at that, we're at about the exact same price, but we have a bigger pool of money, a bigger monthly benefit. Now it's only inflating by 2%, and you have a calculator where we can show you later that this will draw it out this long. And what we always try to do is to get them to about 81 to 84 years old. Now we can copy that quote, and I can even go one step farther. Let's go 7,175 pool, but drop it down to 1%. That's a little more expensive. So I'm going to go back to 6,500. We're getting close to the same ballpark there. Right there, we're in, you know, $20 a month. That's another option, and remember, you always have the buy-up. So I like keeping 1% on there, depending on their age. But you know what? I could also drop that down to the 20-year mark. It's not going to be partnership in that state. I have to go back because I didn't explain that. Oh, it does qualify for partnership. Just on hers, it doesn't. And that's what I said, this won't make any, won't let you make any mistakes. But now you've dropped it way down to $3,700. You're still getting that 1% inflation for 20 years, which is going to get her only to 75, but him to 80. But I'm just trying to show you different options out there, and that's why I'm doing this. Again, the yellow light pops up, and it always tells you what's wrong. I'm going to save that quote also. And I'm just going to do one more with no inflation. You lose your partnership. But let's do 8000 at 200000 we're, we're cheaper than we were before. We have a pool of money that that 3000 at 3% 3 would probably never catch. The 200000 the other one had 100000 so it would take in 20 years for that to double. So you have a much stronger pool of money for the first 20 years. If they live to be 100, they might lose out a little. You can make up some of that by raising this up to 225, keeping it still cheaper than the other. But I'm just showing you there's a great way to mess around I'm using no inflation. Again, I told you I like the 1% inflation because it always gives them a chance to move up. Um, but always depending on their age, you know, that's especially with this couple, it's kind of young. I like to keep that 1% in there. Um, I told you I have to come back to partnership. Partnership is just a dollar for dollar asset protection. Dollar-for-dollar dollar asset protection just says if they go through their full pool of money, 225000 and have to go on Medicaid, they get to pick 225000 in assets to put aside so that they be uh, uh, protected I'm Sorry, against the Medicaid coming to get it. If they had shared care, 
one or both of them together, they're going to have 450,000 of asset protection. So because if one of them passed away, the other one would get it. So you can always use that partnership. And again, you'd have to have the partnership collected to do that. So you, in this state, you have to have at least 1% inflation. But remember I talked about the 200% professional care? Look at that, $16,000 in this one. If something happens right away, no matter how bad it is, you can probably keep that person home for 90 days and get rid of their elimination period. I usually make PDFs of mine. I mark them all. And you can save it and then send it out later. But let's just preview what I actually sent out. So you can see again how nice this software is. It says who it's who it's designed for, who the agent is, what date it was ran. I like the deck page. Try to go up to 75%. No, let me go up to 100. Right there. It gives John his age, Jane his age, you know, what uh, rate classification, what their pool of money is, what their cash benefit is. There's a zero day elimination on cash. So cash is going to last about 9.4 years. They have an 8,000 assisted living, 8,000 nursing home, 8,000 home care, 16,000 professional home care. So anytime a nurse, an LPN, a speech therapist, a physical therapist, anytime a professional shows up from LPN, I'm out, you're going to get double your benefit that day. So it is possible to get all the way up to 16,000. You have a 90-day elimination with zero-day home care. If you were collecting the whole 8,000, it would last for 2.3 years. So basically, you know you have a plan that's before 2.3 years and 9.4 years. This one has no inflation, waiver of home health care, professional home health care, and it gives the prices. On the other pages here, it gives you a little more options. All you have to do is crisscross this one in the block is what you have right now. A 225, 2000 cash, $8,000 benefit. If you wanted to see what that was for a 2% compound for 10 years, it would go up to 22 or 2292 with 4% compound 2700. So it just gives you a little more choices, gives you different choices for your home health care and your assisted living, different pools of money. If you wanted to go up to 300000 it would go from 1841 to 2114 So you can see, you know what, that would still be cheaper, and now we even have a whole bigger pool of money. This shows you how the benefit with the different inflations how they would build. This is your cash benefit. This is your monthly benefit. And this is your policy limit. So if you did just choose a 3%, it would show you 2% and 4%. Um, this one, because I had no inflation, didn't do a lot. Here's some more benefit options with different inflations, just to show you the price. Again, just another alternate coverage benefit page. So just within that one quote, if you don't have a way to bring a computer or a whole bunch of quotes or the software into the house, there's a lot of pages on here that can give you all these options to show you. And then it does the same thing for the other policy, the other person's policy. So you know what? That's pretty much it. I can go back again and show you all the different quotes I ran today. They're all saved. If I went up here and hit Save Client, it's going to ask me, do I want to save John Doe, or John and Jane Doe with John Randall, which I already have in there, so it saved it for me. Next time you come in, if you're going to a whole new person automatically, just hit New Client, it'll cross everything out. Always defaults on mine to Ohio. Make sure you change the states. 
I want to thank everybody for taking time. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Lynn, and Lynn is going to do her drawings today. So I want to thank everybody again. Make sure you check us out at www.goldencareagent.com or 800-842-7799. But with that being said, thank you. Have a great day. And let's see if Lynn is all ready to go here. And it looks like she is. I am. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We have a drawing. We will actually be drawing three different names today. Of course, everyone has seen the Mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom mm -hmm. gift basket, and we've got all of our names in here. Um, there will also be two other winners that we didn't promote quite as widely, and the first two winners they will receive an individual Wild Kingdom swag item. So whether um, that orange coffee mug that you see or the insulated tumbler or the cute little stuffed animal, um, you'll receive something um, just for, for winning and attending today. So I've got my spinner up and the very first name, again, it'll be an individual swag item. Let's go ahead and spin. Okay, and the very first name that we have is Natasha D. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick note. Congratulations, Natasha D. You've won an individual Mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom swag item, and we'll be in contact to ensure we have correct address and shipping information. Uh, in terms of the second individual prize, I'm going to go ahead and in here. And again, this second prize, it is also an individual swag item. Our second winner is Randy G. Congratulations, Randy G. You will be receiving a Mutual of Omaha swag item as well. So be on the lookout for our email. And this is what we've all been waiting for. It is the drawing for the grand prize. And that's the full gift basket here. Um, it will include everything that you see pictured and it should make for quite a gift. Um, hopefully, we, hopefully you enjoy everything that's in there. The winner of that is Lenora H. So congratulations to everyone. Lenora H is the winner of our grand prize, that Mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom gift basket. We will be reaching out again to confirm shipping details and we'll get those shipped just as soon as we can. So thank you, everyone. I'm not sure if John is still on, but it was a wonderful webinar talking about the Mutual of Omaha product. Uh, I thought he did a wonderful job going through the illustration, too. Thank you, Lynn. Yeah, and good job on the drawing. Um, we'll get those uh, out to you as soon as we can here. I want to thank everybody one more time for coming on and joining us. I hope you learned something new today. And everybody have a great day and enjoy the rest of their week. Check out our website, goldencareagent.com, or give us a call at 800-842-7799.